This huge pile of logs is awaiting transportation to neighboring Vietnam via the border crossing an hour's drive away. The timber is owned by a Vietnamese military company and will be taken across the border in violation of Laos log export ban. A new report by the Environmental Investigation Agency exposes how powerful interest groups are smuggling hundreds of thousands of cubic meters of logs across the Lao-Vietnam border every year to feed Vietnam's booming wood industry. This illegal log trade threatens some of the last intact forests in the Mekong region, impacting biodiversity and the livelihoods of local communities. Undercover investigations by EIA since 2007 show how illicit Lao logs supply the factories of Quy Nha Hon, a town in the center of Vietnam with a large wooden furniture industry. EIA returned to Quy Nha Hon in 2010 and uncovered a significant military connection. Covertly filmed discussions with a worker at the port revealed the origin of the timber. Many, like yeah. how many percent from Laos? About uh, 95. 95 percent? Who, uh, who's your? No, 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 not so ours. It's from the army, the, the Vietnamese army. A meeting with a timber factory owner in Ho Chi Minh City explained the dynamics of this illicit trade in logs. Uh, Lao is, people is nice, you know, like, but the way the business is, you know, like, you know, you know a lot of under the money. Yep, that's the way it works. Yeah. <laughs> to, to, to secure the, the logs. Yeah. yeah, but they do call me take the lock out because it's illegal. So, it's illegal. Huh? No, lock, if you ship lock from Lao out, it's illegal at the moment. At the moment. We need really? to ship. Finish for that. Right, okay. We are there. There's many ways to have the lock, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. You go there. Well, now. Like, yeah. yeah. Because we are a big company, we don't know how to do that one, and we don't. We dare to do that one. Uh, <laughs> EIA probed into the military connection with the distinctive green marks and yellow tags on logs, providing a clue leading to the Company of Economic Cooperation in Vietnam or C-O-E-C-C-O. -C -C -O. The trail led to the Vietnamese city of Vinh, headquarters of Quan Cu, or Military Zone 4, and its business arm, C-O-E-C-C-O. -C -C -O. Posing as log buyers, EIA investigators met with company staff who claimed to run the biggest logging operation in Laos. So you only do 100% loud wood? Yeah, 100%. We, 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 we cut down from the Lao and just come to the wing and we get. Mm -hmm. Last year, we, um, uh, we, we, we mainly uh, sell in domestic for mm -hmm. all the uh, um, companies mm -hmm. in Vietnam. And they, um, they buy the farmers and then they go process. Right. And then uh, they... Um, they make the furniture and then uh, it's hard to uh, do it. Uh, last year, 110,000 110, cubic meters last year. EIA investigators observed more of the military company's logs just over the border in Vietnam, at Ply Can and also in the port of Da Nang. This logo led EIA to the main sources of COE CCO's logs, the Second Man One dam site in Atapu. Another Vietnamese company with the connections to bring logs from Laos is Nicewood, which cuts 30,000 cubic meters a year in northern Laos. 
Yeah. We cut wood ourselves. We have to pay money for the government, government to have a quota, okay. and uh, give the money to transport wood here. So oh, they transport? No, no, no. We give those. Uh, for example, for the custom officer mm -hmm. and uh, forest many person. Yeah, we have to give them uh, money. Now, um, now can. Now they are forbidding to import raw lock and square lock, uh, but some company like us can uh, import <laughs> some uh, alcohol. Said nothing is difficult if you have money. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just Vietnamese businesses sending illicit logs across the border. A well-connected Lao company is also cashing in on the country's forests. Where does this go? To go export? To Europe, America, or Laos? Song Pay Viet at number, not for the Kai Pono. Export Vietnam. This? Go Vietnam. Ponsat. Ponsat. EIA came across this company's logging operation in Sekong province, where the Sekong 4 dam is being built. Before we have a lot, a lot of wood, uh, but uh, right now I don't know why. Why? Why? Where did all your wood come from before then? Huh? Where did all your wood come from before? We didn't know. Oh, we didn't know. Yeah, the majority of uh, the, the uh, Lao company here, majority of the sellers in Vietnam. They sell to Vietnam. Vietnam, so Vietnam next actually. Year. Yeah, it's buying uh, logs and salt timber. We can ship it out. Just but that salt timber we cannot send to Thailand, sure, because it's strict uh, regulation. Just but in Vietnam, just across the road, even illegal. This, this is only between us now. A lot of our coming from the government about that we have salt timber and logs go to Vietnam. Right, really? Instead of going to the factory. Uh, if I'm, if I'm the boss, I can sell this wood, okay, at this price, and then they don't have, Vietnam doesn't worry about the quality, whatever quality they will take, and then they pay cash before they can see the goods. That's why it goes the business here. Most of the Vietnamese, they're competing for any factory here. They bring you the cash, even if you are, they don't see the goods here. Cash up front. Cash. Like that. Richard. Vietnam really, really needs the wood. My, my boss, my boss, uh, Mr. Bonsak, he's involved in the uh, wooden business, plugging, construction. He have a uh, coal mining too. Oh, all, all. The rich man. Yeah. He's very clever. You see, all the one with the government make contracts and a lot of corruption. You see, to that business, you see. Oh, who is Mr. Bonsak? I mean, he... he's the, the main owner of this company. Yeah. He's very, very close to the government, the president. Okay. So sometimes government officials have to visit our factory. Oh, okay. So this processing factory is almost like a front. You got it. So if you have a big factory, the government will visit. Oh, you have a lot. Then we'll give you a lot of quota. Yeah, yeah. We'll see a lot of like, and... We give you a lot of quota. Yeah. Now I get all the woods. The involvement of powerful interests like the Vietnamese military and FUNSAC explains why Laos timber export laws are ignored. Meanwhile, huge swathes of forests in southern Laos are being appropriated by its neighbors' businesses in logging, hydropower, and plantations. EIA exposed this illicit trade in 2008, but it continues unabated, as timber from Laos' shrinking forests continue to supply Vietnam's wood industry, with the products ultimately reaching end markets such as the EU and US. It is time for the Lao and Vietnamese governments to put a stop to this damaging and corrupt trade and for consumers to avoid wood products made from Lao logs in Vietnam. <laughs>